I mean, the FA20 engine, the factory engine, you know, I won a few club rounds, some state rounds, plus a round in the national competition. And be reliable over 12 months, I think we proved everything we wanted to prove with that. Uh, this is only the dummy engine, so to speak. So I've got a good engine coming down from Queensland, the guys at JHH have built like a gangster three litre hard revving engine. Should produce around 500 kilowatts, this one's only on about 340, so... Um, but I just think the way the sport's going, the progression of the sport, you know, it's all about hamming it up, heaps of smoke, plenty of horsepower. And I just think the 2JZ, it's just like a tap, so... Depending on how much boost you want to put in it to how much power you want to make. So obviously getting rid of the FA20, the car had a really good balance, really low centre of gravity. With the 2JZ, I was worried about that. And overall, I think, you know, the car seems to pivot better with a bit more weight up the front, so... For drifting, probably not overall for circuit or all in all, you know, WiseFab, 2JZ, all the work that's been done, killer, I love it. Obviously, Hypertune's had a really heavy involvement with the 2JZ and also the FA20 were heavily involved with the build. Um, new engine management this time around, so Scotty at Insights developed the new Mtron. It's got a KV8 in it. Yeah, so I've gone with the Garrett uh, 3582 GDX. Obviously, I've had a really long rapport with the guys there at GCG and they've always supported me well. Uh, this is just a baby turbo, just to kind of, as a warmer, you know, but I think we're looking around the 40 to 42, maybe with a little bit of gas and stuff later, but obviously it's a Garrett turbo. The guys at Hypertune obviously made the exhaust manifold as well. It's got their um, big port uh, inlet manifold, billet runners with a 90mm throttle body, and God, that's just off the shelf stuff there at Hypertune, so they're obviously uh, a good crowd to have on your team. You know, obviously I couldn't do what I'm doing today and in the sport and sustain such a long career over the last 10, 12 years I've been doing it now in this country without the help of people like Wins. And, you know, they've re-signed for the 2015 series. The Nitto tyres, again, they've re-signed for the second year. So, you know, I'm super stoked to have that relationship with Nitto as well. Yeah, so back in 2006, I had a relationship with Toyota. You know, with the, the announce of the 86 coming back to the country. And they are happy to take me on board as an ambassador for the new 86, so... I mean, I was extremely disappointed not to make it to Adelaide for the third round, but we got the car finished for here, Sydney, uh, fourth round, and to get second overall, uh, extremely satisfied with the car. You know, the new 2JZ, it's working awesome. You know, the boys at Hypertune, can't thank them enough. You know, just the workmanship involved in this car and getting it here this weekend. To all my team, you know, Beck, Freddie, Neil, the whole crew, they just, you know, we've been working around the clock to get the car here and, and you know, to get a result. And basically, it's in its first uh, maiden voyage, you know, I'm, I'm just extremely stoked with it. I'm really looking forward to the next season. You know, I was running second in the championship before I didn't make it to Adelaide. So to get another podium finish this weekend, you know, it makes me think I probably would have been somewhere on the podium maybe if I had a decent result in Adelaide. But, you know, it's the, the quality of drivers in ADGP is ever increasing. You know, definitely the driver quality is up there and you never know your luck on the weekend, but I'm stoked with second place in the final round and I think fifth overall, so that's pretty good.